Developing right now, there is a child abuse plea deal in DeKalb County. Tonight, three women accused of abusing at least 14 children at a DeKalb County daycare entered a guilty plea to the charges against them. 11 Live's Teresa Bowles is following the story for us. She's joining us now live from outside Superior Court. And Teresa, tonight the parents say they are not satisfied with the sentencing, right? Not at all, Ron, particularly the sentencing for Alexis Swain, who is facing 29 counts of cruelty to children. An eight month old boy. He sustained a hematoma to his head and a concussion. And a two year old girl. My daughter was slammed on the changing table. Uh, my daughter was slapped in the head and my daughter was yanked up. Two parents out of the list of at least 13 children abused at a daycare center in Stone Mountain. They all say the long term effects are already creeping in two years later. I trusted these people with my daughter's life, but now my daughter has accidents more than the normal four year old. Well, I'm still buying pull ups for her to sleep at night because she has nightmares. That's why the state describes Apple Tree Learning Center and Academy as a house of horrors. I don't necessarily disagree with that characterization. Alex Swain is who the parents describe as the ringleader of the wrongdoing. Um, but I would like to provide for context that um, that house was not necessarily built by Ms. Swain alone. Swain and two other daycare workers, Cassandra and Corey Chambers, enter guilty pleas. 56-year-old Cassandra Chambers entered a guilty plea for not reporting the abuse. 21-year-old Corey Chambers entered a guilty plea for child cruelty, but says she was a young and ignorant floater and the only worker who showed affection to the children. Sharetta Hull is also being charged with child cruelty, but her competency is being examined. Prosecutors say Swain hit, slammed, and rough-handled children. Her lawyers argued she was injured and overwhelmed with more kids than she could handle, all while going through her own struggles as the parent of an eight-year-old. If anybody did this to him, I would feel exactly how these parents do today, but that is not me. Swain's attorney asked for 12 years, five served. The state asked for 20 years, 15 in custody. The judge sentenced her to five years in prison, five on probation. Corey Chambers will serve 12 years probation for five counts of child cruelty. Cassandra Chambers will serve 12 months probation. The parents say Swain got a slap on the wrist as their bad dream still isn't over. 10 years is not enough. It's not enough. All right, so Teresa, did we find and out what civil prompted? litigation? Go ahead, Teresa. I was going to say the civil litigation is still uh, pending in court. All right, Teresa, did we find out what prompted Swain's physical abuse here? Well, apparently the children's dirty diaper surveillance camera shows, at least this is what the state says, her picking up the child, smelling them, and then slamming them on the changing table and hitting them. Live indicator, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News.